Yo, Ogwan, hope you're having a great day. Wrong headphones in this video. I'm gonna be showing you how to use Isotope Stutter to, to make your beats more interesting, okay? So does that sound great? Trust me, it will be. <laughs> if you haven't used this plugin before, this is gonna open your eyes to some amazing things that you can do with your beats that are really, really easy. That's gonna make them sound way more interesting with very little effort, which is what it's all about, man. It's all about doing less and getting more. <laughs> now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now let's get straight into this shall we actually before we get straight into this my question of the day is what plugins do you use to make your beats sound more interesting right now? Let me know in the comment section down below. By the way, if you do wanna grab Isotope Style Edit 2 and you haven't got it already, you can go to jcarterray.com forward slash stutter edit two and that will take you to the page where you can grab that so this is star edit two okay stutter edit that's how you know americans will probably say it but i'm british yeah i'm from london we don't really pronounce t's with my accent so that's how it goes i don't need any comments saying why does he say stutter instead of stutter that is why okay i'm telling you right now now <laughs> let's get into it let me show you some examples of this in action and then i'll show you exactly how to step how to set this up now my project is actually crashing as you can see it's not showing me everything which is annoying okay so i am finally back i literally spent over 10 minutes trying to fix this issue and found out that the fix to the issue was not to keep on opening fl studio projects but it was actually to close fl studio and reopen it so this is a different song but it's a better beat to be honest and I wanna play it to you real quick and then we're gonna go through the parts where I'm actually using Star Edit and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up Star Stutter Edit. Uh, now, I'm, now I wanna force the tease where I don't really wanna do the tease. Let's just play this back. This is called Ray Cookie. So the way I've done it, you might not even have realized that Star Edit was even going on. Okay, now let me show you where Star Edit has actually come into play. So first of all is on this pad. So let's listen back. Oh, we need also need to bring the actual Star Edit. So that's that, that was start edit in action. And we also have some edits on the master track. So if we just play this back,
that thing there, that started it, and also this is also started it. So that those transitions are started it, and that's from the transition presets. Now I have I haven't actually made any of these starters. I've just been using the presets to kind of get to grips with how it works and whatnot. So let me show you exactly how to set up started it really really quickly. It's not going to take very long. So let's create a new pattern pattern eighteen. All you need to do is actually create a MIDI out channel so we create a midi out like so as you can see i've already got two on there and then we change the port to whichever port we want this to be sent to i would start with one and then as i add another midi out i'd go to two and add, add another one i'd go to three and each time you want to use the effect in a different place or use start edit on a different channel you want to create another midi out so as you can see this is the third one so i'm creating the third uh, i'm using a third port by the way when you listen before there were like some chop outs and whatnot that's just the cpu that's not actually the beat or start edit <laughs> but let's bring up a channel now you actually add start edit to the mixer so here is our mixer this is actually my rmb trap beat mixing template in use here if you want to grab that link down below or go to jcarray.com forward slash rmb trap fl now where did i use style i used it on the chorus pad and i also used it on the master track so i'm gonna basically add this to my main chorus guitar which i generally would not use style edit on because i like to have my edits very subtle not really doing too much but let's quickly check this out and i'll show you exactly how this works in action okay how does that sound pretty good good now started it's up and running now what we need to do is we need to go to this cog up here go to this cog right here and now go to the input port and change this to three or whichever port I created with the MIDI out. Now we can click this to go back to the plugin. We can also click this to get rid of that. And now we are ready to use started it. In order to test it, all we need to do is hit a note on the MIDI keyboard. And when you do that, it will actually change the edits. And honestly, there are a few different modes that you can use started it. You can either use it in MIDI mode or you can use it in auto mode. The reason you use auto mode is if you want the effect to play all the way through a particular sound. Honestly, that's not the best way to do it. The best way to do this is to use MIDI mode so that you can actually play the effect when you want the effect to come in. And generally, you won't want the effect to be throughout the entire sound, although sometimes you may want that. Okay. And that's also a great way to, if you want to bounce that sound. So if you want to bounce the sounds, you probably want to put it on auto and then bounce the sound with the effect and that will work out. Otherwise it won't. Now I've found that every time I try to bounce the sound with start edit in MIDI mode, it just doesn't bounce down with the actual edit on there. So if you want to bounce a particular edit, for example, let's say you've got the last four bars edited. What you can do is add on auto mode, capture those last four bars, and then add that into your playlist, basically. That's how I would do it, because that actually works. So we've got this on the chorus guitar. So that's that, let's bring up Start Edit again. I didn't I put this on detached? No. So now, if I play this back, and I press a key, it's going to have a range of starters, and you can, in order to go through and see which starters you're gonna have, you can look on there by clicking that, and this will show you the different edits that will come on the different notes. So let's play this back and give you a taste of this. This is called Ray Cooking. <laughs> But honestly, everything, everything in this thing is off time because I've got, first of all, I've got a bunch of plugins on there, but Ample Guitar M is eating up my CPU. It is 
munching it. So because I've got this in here, everything is off time. So this actually wouldn't be the best way for me to play stuff in. The best way would be to use this to test out and see what sound I like and then for me to actually draw the MIDI in, okay? So what I do is I just put the MIDI right there. Let's actually change the sound bank. We go to factory banks and we go to bass beats instruments, go to guitars and we drag this over here and this will give us all the guitar presets. So if you play this back and you press a note, My bad, I was like playing everything in existence. This is called great cooking. This is called great so, cooking. So let's say I want to try something out like this. What I do now is go into the piano roll. There we go. And I basically just press the key and put it about where I want it to come in. So let's put it right here at the end of the first bar. And let's also turn off my tag because that's getting a little bit annoying. And <laughs> again and again and again. But if we play this back, now it will be more on time. Remember, the only reason it's off time is because I've got a bunch of plugins here. But that's something to know just in case you want to use this. So. Yeah, this is not the best place. Actually, we probably want to put this at the end of this four bar. So like more like I'm gonna have the end of this bar like that. Maybe I'll put another one here. I don't know what this is going to do, but let's listen back. Is it, does that even do anything? Maybe let's bring this back a little bit more. Why is this not doing anything? Why well, is doing something when I play it back? Huh. Let's open up Start Edit to see what this is actually doing. Yeah, it is something. That does sound kind of cool. So basically what you want to do is just find the right stutter for your particular track and just get that in where you want it to start. Now all of these aren't going to work. Like I don't like this one to be honest. That doesn't sound good to me. And if you need to edit it, you can actually do that. So we can turn off Where's palindrome? Is palindrome on or off? I'm not seeing it, so maybe it is off. But yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> And then you can obviously shorten it up and do all that sort of stuff to try and get it right. And if you don't like it, you can just get rid of the MIDI and it's not going to affect your track anymore. If you play this back, everything's going to be normal.
like so so that is how you set up isotope stutter edit 2 on your different channels and what have you remember if you want to grab it or you want to try it out there's a trial version go to jcartaray.com forward slash stutter edit 2 try it out see if you like it if you do like it buy it add it to your beats start making your beats sound way more interesting with very very little edit the little effort and little editing to be honest and there's a bunch of different presets a bunch of different things that you can do as well as you can actually create your own stutter so let's say you don't like this stutter there's too much stuttering going on you can actually change that stutter rate you can bring everything down bring it down a little bit more Do -do. you can also change the rate that is possible I believe it's yeah like over here I don't know why I can't actually change it here but you should be able to like right here well now we got this this you can maybe you can't I don't know things aren't working how they're supposed to <laughs> i don't know why okay so i can start this you have to double click into it i guess you can start it like lower and then make it pick up and you can change different things and have different types of curves you can get really really deep into this and actually create a bunch of different presets that you like that you want to use for your particular beats and i'll probably do this actually because there are you know there's a fair amount of good presets in here that i do like but i'm probably gonna need to create my own presets to kind of get the sound that i want to use that i can go to every time like create a, a whole set of let's say 10 different presets that i want to use so that's definitely going to be something that i'm going to look into and i highly suggest you think about that as well it's highly customizable there's a bunch of different settings i haven't even gone through all the settings but i'll leave that for my review when i go through all the settings and all that sort of stuff stuff but that's just how to quickly set it up and how to use it and how it can be used in a use case scenario as i showed you with the pad and with the transitions where i added it to my master track so that's that link will be down below and i hope this has helped you out if you got any other questions any other tutorials that you want me to make let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out